Hereditary spherocytosis, pictured here as the hair-red kid with a sphere cell, is a hematological disease affecting red blood cell or RBC structure that occurs most often in northern Europeans, demonstrated by the North Compass European. It is inherited predominantly in an autosomal dominant pattern, shown by the domino. In normal circumstances, an RBC membrane protein called anchorin functions as the binding site for another RBC membrane protein called spectrin that provides healthy biconcave RBCs with structural support and membrane stability. However, the most common mechanism leading to hereditary spherocytosis occurs from a mutation in the anchorin gene, which results in anchorin deficiency. This subsequently causes a spectrin deficiency from a lack of available anchorin binding sites on the RBC membrane, illustrated here is the spackle smeared on the anchor ring. These spectrin-deficient RBCs are no longer structurally sound and result in spherocyte formation, seen here as the sphere cell forming, representing the transformation from the normal biconcave RBC shape to the spherical shape that characterizes this disorder. Since this spherical shape is friable and unable to withstand the shearing forces or obstruction of microcirculation in the unwelcomingly hazardous environment of the spleen, ubiquitous macrophagic phagocytosis results in a hemolytic anemia depicted by the anemone with hemolyzing red blood cells. Since consumption of the abnormal spherocytes generally occurs in the spleen, it is considered an extravascular hemolysis. As RBCs hemolyze and release their contents, including bilirubin, the resulting hyperbilirubinemia can cause bilirubin gallstones, shown by the belly ribbon with gold stones. Excess bilirubin can present clinically as jaundice, which refers to yellowing of the skin, illustrated here by the jaundice janitor. An additional physical exam finding is splenomegaly, represented by the spleen balloon, secondary to extravascular hemolysis occurring within the spleen itself. It is also important to note that these patients may experience folate deficiency since RBCs require folate to proliferate and hemolytic anemia causes a compensatory increase in RBC production. Spherocytes have a shorter half-life than normal RBCs, reducing the body's RBC reserve. If a patient contracts a parvovirus B19 infection, this will destroy all RBC precursors in the bone marrow resulting in an aplastic crisis as existing spherocytes continue to hemolyze without replacement. So in summary, hereditary spherocytosis is a blood disorder seen most commonly in northern Europeans and predominantly demonstrates autosomal dominant inheritance. The most prolific cause is an anchor in gene mutation causing spectrin deficiency, leading to membrane instability and spherocyte formation with resulting hemolytic anemia, bilirubin gallstones, jaundice, and splenomegaly. This picmonic is about hereditary spherocytosis, which is our hair-red kid fascinated by a sphere cell. He's lured by the sketchy North Compass European down the domino pathway, because this is an autosomal dominant disorder found mostly in Northern Europeans. It's a spectrin and anchorin defect that leads to spherocytes forming, which is why we see this European spreading spackle through an anchor ring to form these sphere cells. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Anemia's Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from microcytic anemia causes, normocytic non-hemolytic anemia causes, Normocytic hemolytic anemia causes, macrocytic anemia causes, anemia lab values, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.